By now, I think it should be abundantly clear that Urban Moving Systems was in fact a Mossad front company. It was run by a known Mossad operative named Dominic Souter, who fled back to Israel after initial questioning from FBI investigators. In June of 2001, months before the terrorist attacks, Urban Moving Systems was given over a $498,000 business loan, which would never be paid back. You're probably thinking to yourself at this point, this is pretty damning information. Why was there no investigation and what became of all the Israelis that were detained before, during, and after 9-11? The reason there was no investigation has to do with Israel first Zionist and key political positions. Representative Jane Harmon was the chairwoman of the Homeland Security Subcommittee on Terrorism, and she was instrumental in seeing that there was no investigation into urban moving systems. Michael Chertoff at the time was Assistant Attorney General. And as head of the criminal division of the Justice Department, he made sure all the detained Israelis were released back to Israel on minor visa violations. Well, I agree that uh, talks should continue. Um, uh, creation of a Palestinian state after the violence has stopped is a uh, laudable goal. Um, I, I certainly hope that the Cheney visit is a productive visit. I think the moderate Arab states have to be working closely with us to find both a way to stop the violence and uh, a, an end game that makes sense for everyone in the region, which includes the survival and security and um, respect for the state of Israel, um, which I think is absolutely essential to an essential goal of U.S. foreign policy and one I strongly support. And Robert Simpson emails, could you ask Representative Harmon about the deportation of Israeli art students spying in the U.S. and should this worry us? Are you familiar with this issue? Of Israeli arts, I've, I'm certainly familiar with the fact that we have been rounding up um, uh, people on, visa, on on student visas and considering whether they might have had anything to do with uh, terrorism. And some of those rounded up are Israelis, but I don't know the specific facts. I would not like to to comment except to say that uh, I am not in favor of unlimited detention. I voted for the Patriot Act, which passed the Congress, which put limits on detention. And I think there ought to be court review after seven days or an, uh, an appropriate uh, period of time about why it is that we're holding people. And uh, roundups are not things that I think uh, this country stands for.